Hello, how come you are to healthy living with Regina Tete where it is all about health promotion? And I want to say thank you so much for subscribing, for watching, and for sharing the video. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for staying here. Like I always say, if one person watches this video and is informed, it is a big deal. So thank you all so much for watching, for subscribing, for supporting this video. So I, I remember I owe you a melanin video. I wanted to explain to you the importance of melanin and why individuals who are dark, okay? I don't think I'm fair. Hmm. I'm in between. <laughs> why individuals who are dark should appreciate the skin color, okay? And, and yes, basically that. So it is as a result of what we call melanin. So I'm not going to use big medical terms. I'm going to use basic, basic grammar so you understand, okay? Unless, of course, I really need to mention the name of something. Good. So melanin is produced by certain skin cells in our body called melanocytes, okay? And then after the production of, of this um, melanin, it is pushed into another skin cells called um that's the keratinocytes okay so that is basically what gives us the skin color and some of us were wondering whether um the fact that someone is darker than the other means this individual has a lot of melanocytes no i was wondering same too but then the professor mentioned that that it doesn't necessarily mean individuals who are darker or someone who is darker than i am has um more melanocytes than i have but the difference is what about as a result of the difference in activity of melanin production, okay, difference in activity of the, of the yes, basically the melanin production in a particular individual. So if, um, so it's basically about the intensity of the activity of the melanin production, okay, how, how yes, basically that. I hope you get it. So that's what basically brings about the changes in the skin color. Now let's talk about the protection. First of all, about the protection, I would like to talk about what exactly melanin protects us from. It protects us from ultraviolet radiations. Okay, how? Let me say that the radiations that reaches the earth, okay, ultraviolet A, ultraviolet B. There's another one, ultraviolet C, um, but then my, my focus mainly is on ultraviolet A, that's UVA and UVB. And then this UVA, UVB, and even that of the UVC are, are um, set to be responsible for causing certain skin conditions like sunburns, pigmentation, um, skin cancer, okay, skin cancer, and then um, skin aging. So you may meet someone, um, the person may be a very fair person, you ask the person how old this person is, and this person will be like, oh, I'm 20. But then maybe you 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 try to find out, I mean, from from observation, this person actually looks 20 and the person doesn't look 20 okay so we have been taught and there are researchers to actually confirm okay that skin that's the ultraviolet radiation that hits the earth that hits our skin is about to it, it could make you age so quickly okay so there are other effects but then this is one so it could make you age so quickly and then sunburns okay sunburn is so so bad because i want you to take our brothers um, and sisters who are albinos okay that have um, a fault when it comes to the production of melanin. It's, 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 not, it's not an easy thing they are going through, okay? So, let's, 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 if we do not have albinos, if we do not have, if we, we are not albinos and then we have melanocytes producing melanin now, but I think we should appreciate it. Okay? Good. And, yes, so basically that, and then one other effect is what the skin cancer skin cancer so i'm not trying to mean that individuals who have black skin wouldn't have this condition i mean i'm talking about that's the sunburn pigmentation that's the skin cancer the um skin aging and then the others okay i'm not trying to mean individuals who are dark won't have this i'm trying to mean it's it's the the melanin reduces the exposure to these skin conditions, okay? And it is known that melanin is the only natural protection against ultraviolet B radiation. And ultraviolet B radiation is responsible, majorly responsible for sunburn conditions. I hope you get it. Now, how does the melanin do this? It basically absorbs and then scatters these ultraviolet radiations. That way, preventing 
you from having all of these skin conditions. I hope you've understood it. So the long and short of it is the melanin is pro pro protecting the skin against skin disorders, against aging, against skin cancer. That is the long and short of this. If you don't understand anything, please do let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. And please do subscribe. It will help promote my video. I'll see you in the next video.